Hi, I'm Ashley Grenier. I'm a naturalist with the East Bay Regional Park District. With 73 parks, we are one of the largest special districts in the country, spanning across two counties that are now known as Alameda and Contra Costa counties. Indigenous people have lived on these lands for time immemorial. The Ohlone, Bay Miwok, and Delta Yokuts have a rich history and heritage that they continue to celebrate and share with us today. All around me in this video, you'll see lots of plants growing. You'll see a creek nearby. And the plant I wanted to really direct you to is the oak trees. There are several different species of oak trees that you can find in the East Bay, and they all have something in common. In the fall, you'll find acorns growing from the oak tree, just like these I have right here. This tiny acorn was a main food source for Ohlone ancestors. It provided them with energy to get through their daily lives. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about how to process this acorn in ways that were used by Ohlone ancestors and how it can be done today. First, you would need a burden basket, like this one over here. A burden basket would be held by your hands or you could use a strap to put around your forehead or your collarbone. Acorns would be collected from the trees and not from the ground. When they're on the ground, they're already gonna be rotted out by bugs. A large amount of acorns could be gathered to have all year round. If you look on the stream side over here, you'll see a plant called tulies. They're growing tall in the water. They're kind of like cattails. Tulies are a very useful plant and the granaries where acorns could be stored would have been made from tulies. An acorn is kind of like a peanut in that it has an outer shell and then a skin around the food. A basket like this one over here is called a winnowing basket. This can be used to sift like this, those materials that you would not want to eat from the acorn. There's another plant around me that is growing near the stream side called a willow. They have skinny, narrow leaves, like this one over here. Willows can be used to make baskets. Ohlone ancestors would burn plants and prune them in order to ensure that the plants would grow straight and narrow and be bendable. Ohlone had a keen ability to manage the land so that their work was efficient and their lives were enjoyable. Next, you're gonna pound the acorns using a mortar and pestle like this one. You'd pound the acorns into a flower. This mortar and pestle is portable. You can move it around from place to place. Sometimes a mortar would be right in the ground. Once you had that flower, you would wanna leach it or wash it with water. Acorns naturally have a bitter taste to them because of the tannins that are found in them. So by washing it in water, you might get rid of that bitter taste. Then of course, you're gonna cook it for a favorite dish like acorn soup. So I also have a rock right here. It's a volcanic rock. Now this is a rock that's able to heat up without exploding. So this would go into the fire. You would use sticks like this to pull the rock out of the fire without burning your hands. So you take it and you'd put it into a basket, a cooking basket similar to this one, to cook that acorn so that it bubbles, bubbles through and boils. The basket wouldn't burn because it could be soaked in water. Now, acorn soup is sort of like a comfort food. We all have comfort foods in our lives, things that make us feel better when we're ill, or help us think about home. Ohlone today make acorn soup with their families, just like we do with our families, with other foods that may have been passed down through generations. Of course, the materials might look a little bit different. Instead of a mortar and pestle, you can use a coffee grinder to make acorn flour. All the plants around me are very useful in different ways. And that acorn that grows from the oak tree 
is a main food source for those ancestors. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning a little bit about Ohlone heritage. And thank you for supporting your East Bay Regional Park District.